That is another thing that's dying out. The dancing. Indians, I don't you hardly see them dancing now. Now, when you catch an Indian dance, you know when, it, when all this takes place, St. Joseph night, or the St. Joseph parade. Indians do more dancing then than Carnival Day. You used to catch an Indian on Carnival Day. All they do is walk. But once upon a time, every time you hit a corner, running flags, fire, whatever, you were playing. You, and that was the most beautiful thing, to see Indians spinning in the street. You know, uh, now you just catch them walking. Indian practice is the only place you challenge with dancing. That's the only place. But at one time, yeah, they, they used to challenge on the street, but it was light. It was light or a costume. But today, the costume is so heavy, aren't they? When you see two Indians approach you, like, they just stand up there and talk, you know, rules and rhymes and all that. But once you see an Indian, he'll make you play, you know. And you, to me, what a beautiful thing, see an Indian with a crown on and the ribbon flying and he's spinning around and the crown breaking and going back. But you don't see that now. At least I don't see it, you know. <laughs> I'll be out there with him. Maybe it's because the costumes are so elaborate that the Indians don't want to take right. a chance with them. The costume is so heavy that once you do that, you got to go rest somewhere. Yeah, that's it. But that's what I'm saying about the costume by it being so heavy is changing a whole lot too. You know, the, the, the tradition of the Indians in general.